All right, you made it. So here's our studio. This is what it looks like when you first open it up. And now we're going to do a, just a little bit of setup so that it looks a, nicer for us when we're doing our programming. First thing I always do when I when I load up our studio for the first time is I come up here to tools and I go down to global options. We're going to be changing the view, the style here a little bit. It's going to be nice. And then on the options here, we want to click appearance. This is going to give us the option to change the colors of the windows and also how the font looks. So we can leave the font the same, uh, but I like to change the editor theme because the I like to use darker themes, and you might prefer that as well. And the one I like to use is Monokai. This is my personal favorite. So when we hit apply here, we're going to see everything changing a little bit, and this is going to work a lot better for us. After this, all we need to do is go to File, New File, R Script. You can also do Control Shift N, of course. And this is going to open up a brand new window for us here. So this is where we'll do all our program. So to explain this, this layout for you real quickly, this window here does all our code. We can write our, our code here, for example, 2 plus 2. And so you'll see it shows the, the line this is. So this is actually code here. Down here is the console. This is where we'll see our outputs. We could also type 2 plus 2 down here. But when we click enter, it's going to give us an answer. And this line is, you know, not saved. So we can, we can use the up arrows to go back to it. But it's not saved. Up here, it's saved. If we want to run this line up here, we can highlight this line and press control enter and you'll see down in the console it's going to run the same line okay so that's pretty cool but it's still recorded here which is nice and then over here on the right we have some environment details once we start building uh, data sets and data tables they'll start popping up over here our variables will come over here for example if I wanted to say B equals 2 plus 2 and I press control enter Rather than seeing it go down here in the console and outputting 4, we've created this value B, and it has a value of 4. So that's pretty neat. This will also be a place where we store our tables, too. So when we get more complex than 2 plus 2, we'll see it over here. And then down here is where we'll see our plots. So once we actually start plotting things, we'll be able to look at the graphics in this box down here. So that pretty much sums up the layout here. But there's a couple other important things to go over real quick before we start programming. Uh, and we'll do a little bit of this in the next videos as well. But we're going to want to be doing some installing of packages because a lot of this is going to be driven by the packages that we install and are using. So to do that, we'll click Tools again. And we'll do, go to Install Packages. And this is going to pop up this little window here where we can grab packages from the repository and install them into our directory so for example if we wanted to install a package called ggplot2 we could start typing in here and it'll autofill for us we can find that there is a package called ggplot2 and we can install that I'm not going to do that right now because we're going to be covering this in a later video and I'm just going to do this again for that video but you can see how this works and so that's it. In the next video, we'll actually start building stuff in R. So we'll get right into it. All right, see you then. All right, so just an FYI, I decided after the fact that it would look a lot better for you guys if I changed the view a little bit more. So since this is the video about changing your appearance of your R Studio IDE, I figured I'd just show you what I did here. So I went back over to the appearances, and I increased the font size a lot. This font size I'm using is 24. It should make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. Uh, I'll, I'll be checking that. So maybe I'll change this again in the future, but this seemed like a good choice. And then I also changed the editor theme to be a little bit brighter. The, the grays on the Monokai, which I kind of like uh, when I'm programming, maybe is not as good for you guys. So I'm going to be using this brighter style, at least in the meantime. Uh, so hopefully I don't have to change it again, but I think this will be a good setup. And... So, for example, if I if I do the 2 plus 2 that I did before, it's going to look like that. Maybe that's a lot bigger. Run that down here. You see it a lot bigger in the console. And also, if I if I create that uh, the variable, 
I guess it wouldn't be a variable, but if you create this value, you know, you'll be able to see it that way. So hopefully that's a lot nicer. I'll change it if I need to. All right, see you in the next video.